New and updated mods are out now for Farm Sim 22. A total 28 mods were released today on the Id Game Mod Up. All platforms got 12 new and 9 updates, and PC and Mac players got 3 new and 4 updates. We'll be looking at all the new ones, plus reviewing everything that got updated. And if you like staying up to date with all the latest mods and news in Farm Sim, make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, let's check out today's mods. Starting off today with new ones for all platforms, we have the Patina Trailer, even though it doesn't have a patina on it. Very interesting. 35,000 liter capacity. We've got a couple different wheels options very uh south american inspired and then we've got very similar things here for the colors so there you go uh nothing too crazy with this one trailer hitch on the back nope next we got the superstructure pack you're probably looking at this mod pack going do we have like four or five of these mod packs already we do but this one is just a little bit different because they were made specifically to fit this guy, the Multi T8X. Now, they can also be used normally with the Linear Unitrack 122L drive, but uh, now why would you do that if it works with this one now? And there's like two or three other packs that work with the other one. Uh, we do have the tipper as well as the uh, loading wagon with the version that we get here. However, now we've got access to all of these pieces of equipment. So for example, I don't think we have a manure spreader or a liquid spreader for that matter. So, uh, well, you just back right up to this little bad boy right here and hook. It's a, it's a little weird looking on the back of that, but you know what? It fits. And that's the part that really matters here. It all works the way it's supposed to. So if you wondered, man, why can I not use those? Now you can. Next is the Rabbi EG39 Cultivator. 2.5 meter working with 9 miles an hour. 20 horsepower required. Quotation marks. I don't think that's I don't think that's the translation, but we'll go with it. Uh, you've got a couple different bits there at the bottom. Uh, vehicle type we have uh, with roller or with disc harrow on the back of that, even though it's a cultivator, so doesn't quite really matter. Main color here, we've got every color. So I say, if you're going to do something like this, please just let us choose the colors that we want. And you know what? They did it. Next, we have the Lizard U424 Chisel Plow. I don't know why I couldn't say that. <laughs> I think I had my brain, brain spasm. Let's move on. Tines, we've got eight or six. However, no matter what you do, this is still going to be a 2.1 meter subsoiler. So there you go with that. Seven mile per hour requires 90 horsepower. Color options, we have quite a few of them, but it's not the full palette. So we have our main, we have our design. And then we have a secondary design there at the bottom. So I made it exactly the same, didn't I? Next, we got a cool one for you. This is the Hog Confinement Mod from Schulz Modding. How neato is this? Can I get in here? Did he, he actually made it to where a person could get in here. Oh, now that I'm in here, I'm not quite sure I'm supposed to be in here. Let's see if we can sneak our way out of here. So uh, I don't know if you saw down there at the bottom right, but uh, it holds a lot. Uh, 1,200 head of pigs holds 850,000 liters of food, 250,000 liters of slurry, and 145,000 liters of straw. Coming around through, you can see that is where you're going to be dumping your straw. If we make our way around through here, we've got a nice little place here. Now this will actually actuate some things. So we have hide fence, and then we have turn on fans. So let's turn on the fans. Let's hide fence. And let's open this door. So that actually comes through right there. So we've hidden the fence. Let's come back in here, show the fence. There it is. So it pops up from nowhere. Now let's turn the fans off and you can see down at the far end, I think those are the fans that are gonna stop. Maybe turn on fans. Shells, what have I done? I don't know. Anyway, there's a, a button for fans. Uh, really cool little area over here. Let's see if we can figure out what map this is. I believe that is the one that we're on right now. I I think that looks a whole lot like Elm Creek. It's pretty cool, dude. It's pretty cool. Let's make our way all the way around the building. By the way, you can change the colors of this. So if you want to do that, you can do that. Oh, yeah, the fans have stopped now. So they actually take some time to turn off. Oh, that's cool. That is very cool. So we got a place right here. I believe that's going to be for slurry. It looks about like that. And then you can see the bins up here for food. These can actually be filled with an auger. So if you want to do it a little bit more realistically, you can do that. Checking it out or check checking it out and taking a look. We've got animals in here, and you can see through the top. We've got all the colors in the rainbow. Next, we have the cow barn. This is a barn for your little baby cows and big baby cows. 
They're all big cows in base game, aren't they? Coming through here, taking a look, we have room for 100 head of cattle, 52,000 liters of food, 54,000 liters of milk, straw's gonna be at 30, and slurry's gonna be at 150. So we got a nice little area right through there. We've got uh, area here, place where you can turn on some lights. And I'll tell you what, look at this. I sit here playing uh, old farming racing game. I don't know. Uh, I got some bread and, <laughs> and a banana peel in here. Yo, did that just give me the option to pick that up? Get out of here, trees. <laughs> Looks like everything's able to be uh, opened up. Let's see, we've got a, a door in here and a door here, milking parlor, I think. Door out of the milking parlor and little door to open up to come back into the main area, I assume. Yeah, dude, you had no right to make this as realistic as you did. This is incredible, absolutely incredible. And as I mentioned, we could change some colors here too. So we go into animals, we go into cattle, and uh, there you go, all the colors. Now that's not the only cattle area that we have because we also have this one, cow stall. This holds a few less, 80 cows instead of a uh, hundred. So that's really not too big of a deal. It's super rusty. Come through here, there you go. 80 head of cattle, place over here for milk, I think, slurry. One of those things through there and then uh, swinging around here. You can see really not a whole lot going on. As far as stuff down at the bottom right hand corner, 80 cows, food is 30,000, milk is 100, straw is 30, and slurry is 100. Next up, we have the old farm building set. Let's start on the far left hand corner here. This is the cobble barn. It'll cost you $38,000. Details on the outside look great. I love the area right here with the stacked wood. Can we open that? I guess not. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, isn't it? And then we've got another area here, which does have a door that we can open. Here you can see they've kind of bolted it up. I don't know. <laughs> Batten down the hatches. That's it. Hey, all right. DJ, DJ wins a cookie. Let's move to the next building. This is the metal garage. This is sheet metal garage. Sounds are a little bit different, it's a little bit squeakier, it's smaller, so you're gonna be using it for smaller stuff. Then we have the new shed, 8,500 bucks, and over here we have old shed, this one's gonna be 7,500 bucks. Next is another pack, we have the southern shed. Now it doesn't say pack, but it is pack. Uh, we have a few different things in this one, so down here with the bit on the top, that's gonna be your silo warehouse. Pretty cool there, 470,000 liters, I believe. Then we have a workshop with a shed, and then we have the weighing station. So let's take a look at the workshop shed first. Very, very large setup. I I thought for a second that my player had uh, just like gone down too far. Nope. Uh, we can open these doors as well. You can see there's a little bit of overlap here, so you might be able to pull up outside or just barely get in. So if you can't fit your vehicle in here for whatever reason, because these are huge doors, uh, I think you'll still be okay. Really nice interior. Kind of digging it. And then we got an area over here just kind of off to the side. Very cool. Now, let's look at the silo version because this one's just a little bit different. Let's open it up. You can see layout's different. We've still got this wall here on the right-hand side. This is kind of where silo is, but pretty much everything's straight down the middle. So this is where you're going to be dumping and up there is where you're going to be filling from. We have a full, complete drive through here. The doors still work perfectly fine. So if you want to back in a semi-truck or something, this is really cool to run like, uh, I don't know, it almost seems like this would be super cool. One of those big South American maps to store all of your uh, like trucking equipment, stuff like that. And then we've got a place over here, a working weighing station so that you can weigh your truck before you pull in, which is super cool. Door's not opening. Well, that stinks. You've seen the old stuff. Now we have the new stuff, the newly built small barn. Different monitor completely, actually. Yo! Look at these doors. Look how the sun goes off of the doors. Look at the detail on that. Yo, that's so good. Pop it in here. We've got some nice stone on there. Yeah, not bad. Is this a light? It is a light. Yo, was that animated lights? Get out of here. That's awesome. Next to last new one for all platforms today, we have the storage shelf from BK Mods. This is a shelf with automatically uh, automated lights. Anyway, there you go. Bags can be placed on the top shelf. Do whatever you need to do. Um, really, at the end of the day, it's just a place to put stuff on shelves. But this one's been interesting. Not quite the color choice that I would have gone for, but 
Um, hey, if this is your thing, rock and roll. And lastly, we have the 5G Broadcast Tower from Squiggles. <laughs> It's just like the coolest mod name ever. Uh, we have a 5G uh, speed. Uh, they say 5G speeds hits the farm. Now it's your turn to own one. Okay, uh, this is this is a place to get income. So if we jump over to productions, we jump over to generators. If you see $360 a month, it's like $360 a day in the game pretty much, which is pretty cool, uh, $2,400. Fairly cheap, you make that money back in about a year. Jumping over to our mod updates for all platforms, we have the Valtra T234WR Edition. This is version 1.1, terminals can now be configured additionally and added more engine configs. Update for the Pits Log Trailer Pack now, version 1001, they've added the LT44L trailer. Next, Crampy Big Body 750 version 1.1 added the 600 millimeter extension and sugar bait extension, and we've got some new colors. The Lizard Neo Pack from Not Ready version 1001 fix the power consumption on the neo disc 600 or 6000 rather we talked about this and farmed some news this morning and we have an update to the big white cow barn version 1.2 added one color variant to each barn <gasps> Does that mean it's not a big white cow barn anymore? Next up, we have the Bavarian Farm Buildings version 111. Cow shed is now manure system ready and added more leveling and clear area in Kunstall. Farmlander Shed version 1001 fixed door animations and added gray roof and door option. The wind turbine pack also got an update version 100. Well, it says 1001, but we have version 11 here. I, I don't know. Something something happened. I don't know what it was. And your last update is actually Italian Rice 22 version 1001. This does not have a change log either. Uh, maybe Giants got a hold of it. Something like that. Not quite sure. Jump it over to two new ones for PC and Mac players. We have the Rashki High Dump Bucket from Chrissy 136. This is 8,000 liter capacity. Uh, main colors. We've got all of the main colors, which is nice. Weighs about a half a ton by itself, which is a lot. But it is a wheel loader piece of equipment. So... Uh, I think you'll be okay. Secondly, we have the off murding. I don't know how to say that word. Uh, TS300470. This is a leveler, three point hitch. Uh, weighs 2.2 tons by itself. So it's actually a nice bit of weight that you can add on there as well. Uh, it does say it requires 240 horsepower, but they're, I don't know why. Uh, it has a 4.7 meter spread. There you go. And your last new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Olive Plantage. This is a plantage for olives. Basically, it's a production that makes you olives. So input is water and empty pallets and a booster. It gets a fertilizer and herbicide and you get uh, olives. There you go. Um, this does require production revamp for some reason. So uh, yeah, there you go. It's not a mod that I normally use. Lastly today, let's talk about updates for PC and Mac players. First one is the Skoma TST pack version 1.1, added manure system. Update to the Framus pack version 1001, fixed power consumption on the Fraw Disk V6000. Next to last update is the Cultimer L300 Dilemme version 1.1 3D correction. I don't know how to say this. And your last mod today, the Fertilizer and Lime Big Bags Pack version 1002. They've added IC support. Now the player can open and close the big bag manually, which is, uh, how cool is that? That was pretty cool. And that is it. That is all the mods I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure that notification bell's on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. We already dropped Farm Some News earlier today. Farm Some News Excavator Problems, Tortoise Update, and Dimco Special Trailers. Make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it already. Otherwise, just hope you have an awesome day today. We'll see you later.